This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Vaughn and I back here with another episode of Thief 2014. In the last episode, uh, Garrett and Aaron went to, uh, finished go checking through the mansion to see if they can steal whatever it is they were going to steal. However, some rich crazies in there did some wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Well, just some wibbly wobbly magic you stuff. Me another day in and, this uh. Case. Actually, why don't I just take him down? I mean, I get, I, I steal his stuff, and I knock him out at the same time, so I don't miss him later. I don't know. But, uh, um, but yeah, something happened, they summoned something, or I'm not really quite sure. But, uh, Aaron disappeared in a flash of light, we almost got crushed, yet somehow we survived, um, and, uh, now we are in the city and apparently some stuff's been going down this thing called the glooms appeared and well let's just say uh looks like things are not hunky-dory or shit's hit the fan not quite hit the fan maybe but uh, you know things are happening we're not sure of it so but we've got to get somewhere i don't know what our initial objective is other than to get to point a to point b so a claw is fairly quiet when used the right way Aaron made this thing sound noisier than it is yeah, this thing's awesome now that I have it. When Aaron had it, she sucked. So can I... Oh, right. Right, let's pick that door. Ooh. Pick, pick, pick. Pick, pick, pick. All day long. Pick, pick, pick. Why is he this song? Too bad picking locks in real life ain't this easy. Oh, well. <laughs> Let me find gamifying stuff like that just to make it easier. Ooh, food. Oh, there's something over there. Can we get to it? Ah, candelabras. Or a candlestick, whatever. But yeah, I'm not really sure where we're trying to go other than we're trying to get into the city. I assume there's probably like a thieves guild or something like that that we're trying to get to, or or at least some allies. Because, you know... Hero. Stonecutter's court closed for the night. No thoroughfare. What are you looking at? Price on that jeweled mask. Be enough to feed a hundred squawking mouths for a year. Don't you go catching a conscience now. Worse than the suicide sins. I can cut through the jewelers to get around these gates. Besides, that mask sounds interesting. Well, oh, once a thief, always a thief, right? Despite what we're trying to do. Alright, so we need to... So we can't get into Damn the city proper without... Think. Anyone left who knows how to fix these frigging things? Good luck finding a guildsman whose fingers ain't broke. But you've broken up all the broken all the guildsman's fingers? Okay, what do we got? I think it's all something shiny over there. I wonder if I should mess with trying to see if there's anything hidden around here. Because obviously that guy's probably gonna be the biggest issue. Let's see. I can't go up there, can I? So probably dropping down here is probably the best spot. I always see three people, unless I'm missing some. Oh, there is a coin or something like that there. Gotcha. Alright. Before we go over there, let's see if there's anything over here first. <coughs> Sorry. Probably should have copped away from the... Uh, Okay, where am I go? I, I know I'm not going towards the objective. I'm just kind of curious, like, why the game's letting me go all the way over here. Probably some treasures, maybe? Gold? Silver and gold? Silver and gold? Oh, is that maybe another way around or something? Maybe. I didn't even think about that. That maybe there's just alternate paths to the same objective. Makes sense in a stealth... If a stealth game is made well, then you give you multiple paths to get to the same place. But, uh, well, I mean, if if you want to be an interesting self game, I mean, you can make having to get to the same spot the same way every time, but in this day and age, you really can't, you shouldn't just stick to linearity like that. Ooh, piece of candy. But yeah, I wonder if we just, um, if, uh, if we go down that way, they'll just help us go around those guys in general. Hmm, that might be the best way to go. Instead of just going straight out in the open without getting caught. 
Yeah, and I doubt these people are going to squeal on us, so. At least they shouldn't. If they know what's good for them. And they've got the gloom. Yeah, I don't even think Garrett himself has told us what we're, what we're trying to accomplish here. Other than we're just supposed to get somewhere. Sorry, if I'm stopping and looking around, I'm just checking to see... Okay, never mind. I guess there is no other... What was the point of coming down here for? Oh, okay. I didn't see that highlight there for a second. I was like, why did we go down here then? You know, I should have checked the door, but... Okay. Yeah, I'm just checking for secrets or... Ooh, hello. Hmm. Clock tower... Clock tower stops again. Save the clock tower from lightning struck it 22 years ago, or whatever it was. 514 in our year 830. For the third time in many years, work to restore the city clock tower has been halted in tragedy. To the horror of assembled market goers, a child worker failed his death in the plaza this morning. That's what you get when you don't get legal workers. The workers downed tools and refused to climb the scuffles again following the accident. The foreman from their operation arrived later that day claimed superstitious nonsense to be the problem's roots. He refers, of course, to the legend of the chief engineer crushed by his own gears during the tower's construction. As a factual reporter, this paper can only observe that, haunted or not, the clock tower staked his claim to infamy. Hmm. Well, then. Ooh, hello. Yoink! Alright, let's see. Yeah, let's see. I wonder if this just takes us to the building in general. Like, uh... Or it takes us to the... Um, uh, to the shop. Alright. Yeah, the shop's just like right over there, so we went all the way around. So if we didn't want to grab all the extra coinage, like I said, I don't know if even the coinage actually does anything in this game. Like, like, can you buy stuff with it? Well, then again, we are in chapter one. Okay, so we just made it to the other side. I wonder if you can just if you can get up there using the L1 trick. Although, let me don't, let me go back here really quick. I thought I saw something over here as well. There's like six people all around. Huh? Whatever this gloom is, apparently it's recent. Although with how, with how this shithole is, I'm surprised people aren't dying beforehand. Oh, for a second I thought that was a body burning. I was like, well, I mean, you know, if the person's dead and they're trying to keep warm, sometimes you have to just keep sentimentality, uh, throw that out the window. Or put it in the frickin' trash. Why did they make it like there was supposed to be something over here, you know? Oh, there's a, oh, I didn't know there's a rope thingy here. So that's another way to get up. That's probably the way we have to go. Why do I feel like I'm going to take it's going to take me forever to do these do these missions because I'm just taking my time and oh. So that's inside the shop. So yeah, that's probably one of those games if you know what you're doing, you could probably get to the end of a level like really fast. You know, but eh, I'll take I'll take some of my sweet time. I'll try not to take too long because I mean, you know, at some point you want to beat the game. And I'm not. It also depends on how invested I am in trying to find a lot of things. If I'm not that invested, obviously I'll rush through a game a bit quicker than I usually intend. Uh oh, is he look, actually looking at me here? What if he? I was about to say, he does turn around at some point. Although, really, there's like only like two things to get out. Oh, okay, everywhere. there's... I wonder if I can get there before... Nope. Good thing I'm in the darkness. I'm a chameleon. You cannot see me. I am a chameleon. I wonder if this is one way to catch the guy while they're, while they're walking the other direction. Because it'll be a while till they come back, so if we can get them... <laughs> Hurry, hurry, hurry. Get over there. Ah. Yeah. 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 
Just throws it. Throw his ass downstairs. Like some like some black comedy or something like that, you know. Woo! I took your crap, dude. Alright, anyway. Yeah, I'm kinda curious if I could actually get all the treasure. Ooh, a knife. Because I think I remember I saw two shiny bits around here. Now the problem is trying to get uh, the... Because I doubt I could separate the two dudes. I bet they're... I bet it's a case that they, they basically walk together the whole time. It might have been easier just to do it on the... Where? I was about to say, where are they? Yeah, I forgot, as soon as you step out into the light, you're pretty much, like, seeable, you know? Yeah, those guys walk together. There's no way I'm knocking those guys out. I'm surprised they don't go, hey, where'd that one dude go? You know, that type of thing. Oh, right, I gotta remember I have that, like, dash ability or whatever it is where I can just go, woo! Like, scooch. We're just back on the other side, right? Yeah. Yeah, we can go back. I'm just doing a double check. Okay. How do I get over there? Can you just... Woo! Oh, I did it all for the coin! A single coin! Yeah. You can tell... You can tell Gareth's a greedy fellow. If that's the case. Alright. Maybe a good time to just do it after they go around, yeah, that time. There's the front door, but I'm not gonna go that way. There's probably some there's probably some other treasure around here that I'm missing, but yeah. I'm freezing. Yeah, I did all that for a gold coin, folks. Aren't you proud of me? Alright, anyway. Let's see if we can get so there's probably a couple of ways inside. We could probably either just pick the lock and knock that guy out. Probably the best way to go. Or we could climb that rope and go in through the sh top there. Hmm. Hey, either way is probably effective. Let's see, see if uh, there's anyone else inside other than the dude. Yeah, looks like just crazy dude, so... Well, actually, we don't even know if the guy's crazy. We oh, nope, sorry, I didn't mean to look at it again. Oops. There we go. And just picking on the old bones there. They don't call me a sneaky witch thief for nothing. Few guards, residents upstairs. Stealing the mask shouldn't be a problem. Maybe we really have no major objective. We're just here to steal shit. Oh crap. Focus so still not ready. What does that mean? Like, is that slow down time? Okay. Let's see how bad. Cousin. I half expect us to join the pause of one cent. Well, they talked like there's someone else in here, but I don't see anyone else. Hmm. You okay, dude? You, you, you alright? Okay. Cool. Ooh, letter opener. Yeah, we can probably stand up. There's probably someone else in here, but ooh, a letter. I have something for you, McFly. A letter. Glygro's letter. Cousin, I have exp seven. I have expected this to join the piles of unsent letters sl slogging, slogging, slogging in the train rain about uptown. Let's pray that does not. For I have a delicate proposition for which we can both benefit benefit tr richly. Three, my usual clientele in the middle class have little taste and less money, so I ventured my services downriver to a Madame Zhao Zhao, a South Quarter madam, madam, half pavement up front. Of course there's ch danger, but the thrill has driven me to fashion quite the piece, cousin, one deserving of a noble home and a noble's purse. Nine, so far for the madam, I have a gilded copy set with the very finest glass befitting a whoremonger. The real money in the original piece I'll keep closed in my workshop till you find a buyer outside for Reeking City. The madam, her pet jackknives, will never know. L. 
It's always interesting how people will call like ladies of the evenings like whoremongers and stuff like that. Yet, you know, prostitution is the oldest profession in the world, and people always want it, but never want to give credit where credit's due when they get it. You know what I mean? Not that I've done that, but you know, I don't give people the crap for that type of stuff that most people do, because it's almost hypocritical when you think about it. Anyhow, enough about talking about that. Let's steal some stuff. Ooh, this is an orgas. This is a smorgasbord orgas board. Ooh, possibly some treasure. All right, let's see what we got here. Da, 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 da. Does it mean every single switch is gonna have a uh, or a painting is gonna have a switch? Huh? Oh, it's in like the same spot as before uh, as the previous painting that we. Ah, oh, nuts. It needs a code. I don't have that code. Nope. Unless, uh oh. Must be a guy upstairs. That's not good. I wonder if I wonder if we can t hear the tumbles. No, I'm not hearing anything. All right. We'll see if we can get the if we can get the code. Ooh, fire arrows. Hmm. Turn out all those lights. Turn out the light! Well, there's got to be a dude upstairs. I had to bear close that just to... I don't think I'm making much noise down here, am I? There's got to be like, a, a, like an achievement or something Born for going out. through a whole level without... Wait, did he? Why did it automatically steal from him? Huh. That's weird. But I wonder if there's an achievement for going through a whole level without, like, knocking anyone out. Yeah, there's definitely someone up here. Let's see. You know, sometimes I've noticed I'll sometimes in sneaking games become quiet even though no one can actually hear me. <laughs> Have you ever done that before? Maybe Playing like a sneaky game and then... Mm, I can't tell. Is there a way to turn off? Well, there probably is, but... So there's a guy... Well, that's how we would have gotten in before through the through that. Okay. Well, apparently, someone's asleep or walking around. There's got to be a reason to get all this stuff. Other, than... I mean, the stealing the stuff in itself is fun. I'm just saying, there's got to be a reason for it actually having prices on all this stuff. Maybe at some point, maybe when we run to the thieves' guild, we'll have a I'll say there's multiple people in here. Uh oh. No, oh, no, there's there's probably someone in there, I bet. If I had a lady like his upstairs, I would not let the bed go cold. Does that turn it off? Okay, that turns off. Good. All these beauties. I'd lift one myself if I didn't need the job. Oh, okay. There's a dude there. Uh oh. Is he coming in? Hmm. I guess not. I guess he must have a range. Okay, well. Where is he? Wait, where'd he go? Oh, okay. I wonder if I should check on his wife. <laughs> wow, what a creep. Wait, is he doesn't that... pay this week. He can find another sword. Well, well. Either way. Thank you. Is that guard? No, that was a guy covering up his face. A fellow thief, eh? Well, I'm gonna steal your haul for the night. <laughs> well, apparently, there is a 
another guy or a sleeping guy around here somewhere. All right, let's steal this stuff. <laughs> ah, your wedding ring. Thank you. Actually, this little guy looks like he might be a jeweler. Man, what a haul. Ah, eh, he probably doesn't deserve it. He probably beats children or, or, or kills puppies or something like that, you know. You know, just to make me feel better about stealing all stealing his livelihood. Check all the drawers. Actually, I'm trying to remember what video game actually taught me to do that. I think it was like uh I think it was like King's Quest or something like that, I bet, or or some or some old or like uh I like Uninvited or Deja Vu or something like that. Man, I haven't played those games forever. I think I, maybe I should find a, a, a decent recording for computer stuff and uh, and play Uninvited or something. Now that's old school. Let's see. Man, this place is just full of, full of riches and wonder. Man. Garrett's just like this is what you get. This is what happens when you lose your partner. You uh, you make a bigger haul than you ever did as the uh, together. All right, nice, nice combo. And that's the door that would have. That's the door we could have picked before. Oh, he's asleep. I think. Okay, well, we're gonna knock his ass out. Just in case. Just in case. Anything on you? Nope. And just throw his body, throw his ass off the, off the couch. Get your ass off of the couch! Alright, I think we're gonna call it an episode here in a moment. I just wanted to gank all the stuff before we go into the next uh, plot issue, uh, plot part of the game. Okay. Alright, all the loose stuff. Let's see. Other than that picture and whatnot. Okay, we took everything from down there. We just gotta get the mask and then go through that. Alright. Well, looks like we made a pretty nice haul for ourselves. But uh, one more haul left to go before we head off to wherever we're going to go. Will we be able to get that jeweled mask with no issue? And what is Garrett's purpose? And is he going to tell anyone about what happened to Aaron? Do they have any ties to each other? Find out next time in the next episode of Thief 2014. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.